by Zen Master Thich Nhat Han. I'm obviously not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I hope I am. Um, but this is a book that, um, it's a book about love, obviously. It's a, as you can see, it's a small, very thin book. Uh, it's mostly pictures with short passages. Uh, I read it very quickly in one sitting. It was also very cheap. I was at the, um, line, the checkout of a used bookstore, and I saw this for $3, so I picked it up. Um, and it, it, one of my favorite things about this book, actually, is that I had just, when I bought this, I had just completed the book, The Art of Loving, by American psychologist Eric Fromm. Um, and I liked comparing the two, kind of Eastern philosophy with Western, uh, Western thought. And the similar, I, I just enjoyed finding the similarities between the two, because there weren't many. Um, and I've already done a book review on Fromm's Art of Loving. If you're interested, you can check that out if you have not already. So, Thich Nhat Hanh's How to Love. Uh, one of my favorite parts about this book, beside the, besides the comparison, was in the beginning where he makes an analogy um, about uh, accepting imperfections of the, the people you love, the person you love, um, which obviously I thought was very important, considering that we're all kind of looking for like, that perfect someone, um, but obviously you're never going to find anybody without any imperfections. And the analogy that he makes is that between a, a river, your heart being a river, and a cup of, of water. And he says that if you put salt in the, the cup of water, um, that cup of water will be undrinkable uh, because of the salt. Whereas if you put the same amount of salt into a flowing river, you can still draw water from that river um, and drink the fresh water and you'll be fine. And he's saying that you should open your heart to uh, accept the imperfections of the one you love um, because, you know, they're not perfect, obviously. And that you shouldn't, you shouldn't see that as a, as a barrier. So I'm just going to give a couple of quick quotes that I enjoyed. Um, I'm not going to give too many just because it's such a short book that I don't want to pretty much redo the whole book. Um, so I'll just give you a few passages. Um, this one I liked, which sort of relates to that. He says, quote, True love includes a sense of responsibility in accepting the other person as she is, or he, um, with all her strengths and weakness is. If you only like the best things in a person, that is not love. I'll give you two quick ones, two more quick ones. In a deep relationship, there is no longer a boundary between you and the other person. You are her, and she is you. Your suffering is her suffering. Your understanding of your own suffering helps your loved one to suffer less. Suffering and happiness are no longer individual matters. Um, which is kind of the uh, Platonic idea of two becoming one in love, um, which I thought was interesting. And then, uh, despite the fact that this was kind of a small, quick read, I found that Zen master Thich Nhat Hanh gave a pretty solid definition of love. Uh, which was, true, li true love gives us beauty, freshness, solidity, freedom, and peace. True love includes a uh, freeing of deep joy that we are alive. If we don't feel this way when we feel love, then it's not true love. That's not exactly a definition of love. It's simply kind of more a, uh, a test that you can give yourself to see if it actually is true love. If it doesn't give you deep joy, then according to the Zen master, it is not true love. So for what this book is, which is a very uh, inexpensive, very quick read um, by the Zen master, I'd probably give it a 4 or 5 rating just because it's so easy and it, it, has, it's, it has a lot in this little book. Um, but when I compare it to everything else I've read and could read, I'm ultimately going to give How to Love a 3 out of 5. Um, but as I said, it's definitely a cheap, quick read. So if you see it, feel free to grab it. It's definitely, um, definitely worth your time. And yeah, have a love. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And also, as I mentioned in my other video, check out the new podcast I'm in if you're interested. Uh, we talk about philosophy and other current events. It's called The Beef Stew, and the YouTube channel is Zach B. So again, thanks for watching.